Hello there, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan, and we're taking a look at your weekend weather, the outlook for next week, and also what is going on in the tropics where a cyclone is likely to form just north of Queensland over the next few days. So let's kick off with the Friday animated wind map and look at this big block of high pressure to the east of New Zealand, but perhaps more importantly, the easterly flow on the northern edge of it. So between Fiji and the upper North Island, we're seeing this big easterly flow. It is feeding down into the Tasman, and that's why we've got an area of low pressure and rain out there. We've also got rain clouds lining up around eastern Australia, and some of that rain is feeding into the west coast with a little bit of spillover into Canterbury, and also caught up in this sort of more humid flow, a little bit of drizzle around uh, parts of Bay of Plenty. So taking a look at Saturday around New Zealand, very similar to Friday. We're seeing calm conditions in the north, maybe an isolated drizzle patch around Bay of Plenty again. Further south, we've got rain on the west coast, just this little narrow area of it. And then some of that is spilling over into the eastern side. A few spits, a few showers there for Canterbury. On Sunday, we are looking at high pressure dominating around the country. But that easterly flow is drifting a little bit further south. So we'll notice a few drizzle patches maybe around Bay of Plenty and Gisborne in the morning. And then into the afternoon, maybe an isolated downpour that's a little bit bit heavier otherwise mostly dry the bulk of the rain that's what we were wondering last week if it might reach New Zealand because it was coming in to our north but it is just missing us it's sort of bunny hopping around us and in towards Australia so next week uh, as we get to Monday we start to notice perhaps a few afternoon downpours as a result of that slightly more humid airflow. So afternoon downpours might produce even a few thunderstorms here and there, but the bulk of the rain still out over towards Aussie and the Tasman, which is why next week in New Zealand is not only drier than average for most places, but it's also warmer than normal. Uh, and also, with the warmer than normal weather around our part of the world, it's just a reminder though that the tropics right now is at its sort of peak. So this is the current thinking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Uh, over the next couple of days, yellow means that in the next few days, a cyclone is likely to be named northeast of Australia. Now we've got a couple of other storms that's up in the northern hemisphere, so we don't worry about that one. And Savannah, which was named by the Bureau of Meteorology in Aussie yesterday, well out to sea, a couple of thousand kilometres away from Australia. So no threat to them. So this is next Tuesday and you can see that cyclone risk up here. So this is looking like quite a significant cyclone. If it stays to the north it's not going to be a major problem. It might end up even going out to the Gulf of Carpentaria. Some modelling is suggesting that but other modelling suggests it might start to slide down the eastern coastline, Port Douglas, Cairns, places like that might be at some risk. So just be aware of that system next week. We will certainly be fine tuning it, so don't get too worried uh, at this early stage. Around New Zealand, well, we might as well zoom in for that. So this is Tuesday around New Zealand next week. And again, those afternoon downpour risks are popping back up. So expect them here and there. They'll bring a little bit of relief to those who need the rain. Otherwise, it's still dry and fairly warm next week. And our final map is for Wednesday. Again, afternoon downpours. That's what those risk zones are for, for the showers. It's not a wet day, it's mostly dry, it's mostly warm, but these afternoon downpours could be quite heavy and we might be seeing some isolated thunderstorms as well. So keep up to date with the severe thunderstorm outlook uh, from the government forecaster Met Service. That is all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.